Uh, what's the most abusive thing you've done to your body with food? <laughs> Betos. <laughs> okay. If you're not from Utah, you're not really... I, I assume it's not a chain, a national chain. There's well, they got, no they way. They got in different hell. names for other places. There's like Arizona no way. is called Filiberto's. Oh, no way. Filiberto's is also here, and it's another chain of, yeah. or it's like a, it's like offshoot, a of, offshoot. Yeah. It's Rancheritos, Betos, Filiberto's. Okay, so basically, Provo is a college town, but it's BYU, so it shuts down at like 9 p.m., and nothing's open on Sunday. It's because the devil comes out at night. <laughs> exactly. So, so there's this one out. grimy ass <laughs> janitor's closet that sells Mexican food, <laughs> and I air quote Mexican food, and it's called Beto's. And if you want to shred your anus, <laughs> if you need a back alley colonoscopy, if you need to abort oh, sh- a burrito <laughs> out your b-hole, you go to Beto's. Dude, I think I ate one breakfast burrito once at 2 a.m. as one does, and it came out the exact same way I it came in. Yeah, like, um, well, this is I would weird. believe that I'm dead ass. It, it's like the last. I don't know. It's like the last uh, choice. You know what I mean? Because it, it's open 24 hours. Yeah, it's like either McDonald's or Betos. So, oh man, it's like the Waffle House of of Mexicans. Utah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's it's trash food and Bro, it's I good, hate though, it. Bro. I grew up with good Mexican food in California so like I cannot eat it. And that's like the only thing I'm a, sn- a snob about. I'll eat anything else. Betos I won't do. Sean <laughs> routinely for years will go to Betos. Bro, I F's with it. <laughs> Yo, I liked Betos too when I first moved here. <laughs> but I told you, I've said before, literally the only quote unquote Mexican food that's in Hawaii is Taco Bell. A gordito cheesy crunch. <laughs> yeah, dude. Something with Doritos. Yeah. You know? So that's literally all I had. And I came here and I see this burrito that's three feet long. I'm like, oh like, hell yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so bro, I, I would go up. there with other restaurants still open though. <laughs> oh, you're freaking horrid. <laughs> <laughs> horrid. Uh isn't it crazy how the Aztecs discovered Doritos? <laughs> Anyway, that's cool. <laughs> Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I love that. Oh, that's so funny. Um, go ahead. <laughs> Lots no, to what talk were you going to say? Uh-huh. The worst thing I do to my body, and I routinely do this, is spicy food. I don't know what compels me to do this. I run out of my bottle of sriracha like once a week. <laughs> They're like the big bottles yeah. too. We're not talking the small bottles. And every time I run out, I'm like, okay, don't buy another one. Just don't do it. Just stop. You need to stop. And then without a doubt, I'll have one food where I'm like, this would have been better with sriracha. I go straight to the store and buy a new bottle. <laughs> I used to have heartburn at age nine. <laughs> That's a true story. I went to my mom and I was like, my chest, hello. <laughs> And hurts, mom. Am I having a heart attack? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, "Okay, well, you're nine, so." And she, so it took us a while, but she realized it was because I had so much salsa and so many crushed red peppers, and like everything. Some tom toms. Yeah, dude, I needed toms. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, or I still do it. Like I routinely f my day up because of my. I'll say it. Addiction to salsa. Addiction to sriracha. <laughs> no, dude. Uh, what's the... Is it capsaicins? Huh? What? What's the Capsaicin? thing? Capsaicin? Is that what's in spicy food? Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah. is it an element? What is this? <laughs> yeah, it's on the periodic table. Yeah. <laughs> CS. <laughs> not um, a liquid, not a metal. Sean's looking it up. In the meantime... Capsaicin is a chemical <laughs> compound. Do you have a stroke <laughs> on me? <laughs> Wagwan. Capsaicin. <laughs> You saying that? Now? Yes, okay. that's what you're talking about, though. Okay. So what is it? It's a chemical compound that. It's a chemical in spicy food. It's what makes it spicy. Okay. So I think because I'm super knowledgeable about this, duh. The more capsaicins there are, that translates to the Scoville rating. Oh. So, nobody correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think you're right, bro. Um, or he'll arm wrestle you. But <laughs> I think they tie. Lose. They can tie to uh, directly to your endorphins as well. Oh, okay. So I might some legitimately have, be addicted. Some people have it. Some people don't. So hmm. it's like spiciness. Most of the time, it's like you either love it or you don't. You know. Interesting. So 
bro, the worst spicy experience I can ever remember <laughs> is when we were down in Visalia, yep. dude. Because you, me, Deej, uh, I think it was an MJ there probably. Yeah. But there's a delicious restaurant, uh, Vietnamese restaurant that serves up pho. Some of the best pho we've ever had. Devorns, right? Yep. Shout out. Devorns. Let me shout it out real quick. Devorns is the realest. Started on Houston Ave, which if you know anything about Visalia, you do not go to Houston Ave. That's some scary ass shit. They started <laughs> in Houston Ave, but since they've graduated and they've gone to like the white people place and they're popping off. But this place is so legit. I've gone in with white friends and they're like, what spice level you want? And my white friends will be like, I'll take a two or, or maybe a three. And they legit went, you white, I give you one. <laughs> and I've been like, I just laughed my ass off. <laughs> or like if you're white and you walk in, like when I walk in alone, they like kind of ignore me. They take forever. I walk in with my mom. They like run up to us, table booth. <laughs> and my mom will be like, we'll sit over there. And they're like, so we get preferential preferential treatment but what i'm saying is this place is legit accurate but anyways we're hitting this place up and like charles is saying you know they got the levels of spices they got the one two three four and five uh-huh and if you're white you can't go past two you can't go past two <laughs> i think so by law we're sitting down ordering they're taking our orders i'm like yo i'll get a two deej sitting right across from me gets the exact same thing but goes for a four bad a with um, that being said <laughs> We get our food a little bit later and we start eating, start munching away. And uh, I just start to sweat. I'm like, damn, this two is wild, bro. <laughs> and I'm over here. I'm like, damn, this four is nothing. Dude, dude. I could have done a six. <laughs> yeah, I By the time we're all done, we look at each other and like, holy sh I'm just drenched in sweat and Deej is chilling. And we're like, oh, shit. We just mixed them up. I, I just think we were all so hungry. We were just thinking about eating. And it didn't cross our minds uh, that we had switched. So I don't think Sean illustrated enough. He legit was like beat red and sweating. But He's I like survived. Physically struggling, but didn't say anything. Just ate the whole plate. Yeah. And everyone's like, what the hell is he? Yeah, Why like, did you do yeah. that? <laughs> the only noises coming from him are slurps and like hyperventilation. <laughs> like, <laughs> cries. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, bro, are you good? Do you, everyone's just thinking I'm freaking weak with that two spice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh too funny kind of reminds me this is kind of related when i was around nine or ten i got grounded from salt <laughs> <laughs> and this is real i was eating ramen of course and i that already come with like salt packets bro i sometimes <laughs> would take two and put it into one and then fuck that other packet. <laughs> it's like, you just get discarded That's in la it. basura. <laughs> but I would legit put two in one. And then, uh, so I would sit there. I'd put my fork in. I'd, you know, do the whole thing, get a bite ready. And then I would take salt and I'd go, kss, 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 bite. And I would do that with every bite. And our salt shaker was glass. So it would be like, ch -ch -ch, bite, ch -ch -ch, bite, ch -ch -ch, talk. And after like, Three minutes of me eating, my mom from the other room goes, Charlie, what is that? <laughs> I was like, salt? <laughs> she comes in and she's like, what are you doing? And I show her and she's like, you're grounded. <laughs> no more salt. <laughs> Hypertension and uh, blood pressure run in my family, yeah. so I might be up. <laughs> Your mom's like, that's not kosher. Yeah. <laughs> um, dude, my favorite thing that my mom caught me doing <laughs> was uh, food-wise. <laughs> Masturbating. <was> <laughs> Well, it has to do with wieners. Um, <laughs> the glizzy, so listen up, <laughs> chumps. Um, I used to love deep throat and glizzy. Sorry. <laughs> I think I was like five or six. So it's okay, right? <laughs> um, Experiment. I, I would get hot dog buns, and I wasn't old enough to make hot dogs yet. But, like, my parents wouldn't let me, like, throw it on the pan and fry it or boil it, you know? Yeah. So. Instead of asking them, I was just impatient. So I get hot dog buns, put a nice line of ketchup down the middle, and just eat the hot dog <laughs> bun straight. So I guess lack of wieners. <laughs> oh, dude, that's hella straight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay, dude. <laughs> yeah, what? Arm wrestle me. Um, that's hilarious. 